if you're plugging in an external hard drive or trying to insert a compact flash card that's not showing up in the finder for you, this video is going to show you how to fix it. Let's just get straight into solving the problem. So I have a compact flash card and an external hard drive. Both are plugged in. I can see both of them here in disk utility. Here's my external drive. Here's my flash card. I can't mount them. When I click mount, I get an error. So the first thing I need to do is go into the Apple menu in the top left corner, choose about this Mac, and then open up system report. With system report open, we're going to have to find the USB drive that we want to force to mount, and we're going to use terminal to do that. When I go to USB, I can see this USB has an external hard drive connected to it. I can see that the disk name is disk 4S1. I can see that the file system is NTFS. If I look at the card reader in system report, I can see that my card is here. It has a disk name of disk 7S1 and the file system is MS-DOS FAT32. The first thing we need to do is head into the terminal and we need to create a place on our Mac where we're going to load or force mount this compact flashcard. So we're going to put in sudo and then we're going to type in make directory mkdir and then we're going to say okay I need to make a directory in volumes it has to be volumes and then you can name this anything. I'm just going to name this mount. When I press enter I have to enter in my max password my admin password press enter and now that volume is created. The volume named mount is available for me. Now what I have to do is force finder to mount that drive in the mount volume. So to do that, we type sudo mount dash T. The compact card I'm trying to load, the compact flash card I'm trying to load is for, has a file system of MS-DOS FAT32. I'm gonna type in here MS-DOS and then I'm going to say I need to load the dev and then the name of the disk, disk 7s1. And now I need to tell it where to mount that disk. So I'm going to say mount it in the, the mount volume that I just created. So go to volumes, mount, and I'm going to press enter. And you'll see over here now my compact flash card is available. I can access the files inside of it and I can see it here in the disk utility. It's mounted. I can unmount it. I can do whatever I want to it. Let's go get this external hard drive now. This one is not mounted yet. So let's go back into the system report. Let's go to USB and this is my external hard drive. We're going to use the same exact command as we did before. This time we don't have to make the directory. We're just gonna tell a new disk to mount. So what I'm going to do is copy this line that I just typed before. I'm gonna paste it in and using the back arrow, I'm gonna go back to MS-DOS and change it because this is not uh, formatted as a MS-DOS file system. This is NTFS. So let's try typing NT fs the disk name is 4s1 so i'm just going to change the 7 to 4 and i still want it to mount in this same directory i'm going to press enter let's see what happens and now my external drive is mounted i'll put these lines of code in the description there's going to be times when your system file type might be a little confusing or you might not know exactly what to put in if you have something that says xfat for example there's sometimes there's a windows xfat poor uh, file system you would just use the same exact command but rather than ms dos then it would load that disk the same way hopefully this helps let me know in the comments if you're getting stuck and i'll try to reply back and help you out if you can't get something to mount